The good old days of the house parties. I miss throwing those. My name is Kenneth and I'll be your host today. This is where it all started, our first home bar. We flash back to 2016. This was my wife's Annette's first living room tour for all of those subscribers who've been rocking with her since then. The reason why I'm showing this video is because it inspired a lot of the ideas that we have today. Welcome to the K Bar, my small modern home bar. If you want to see more on how a small corner is turned into a full unique bar, please continue watching. Living in a small apartment, we have to be creative with the limited space we have. Just look at our old living room. One trick we learned is to use neutral colors and wall space to open up the area. Panning up, Annette paired white shelving and cabinets with gray countertops and doors to bring out the color contrast that I absolutely love. The K-Bar sign and color changing lights stand out during family gatherings. Annette used metal wine racks and an acrylic shelf to store our wines and champagnes. Below is an upright freezer and to the back of the bar is a plug-in cooler. The width of the bar area is around 43 inches, that's less than 4 feet. The depth is around 60 inches which brings the bar area to approximately under 20 square feet. You could make a similar bar anywhere with this small area. We purchased our old bar cart from Walmart and Annette repurposed the marble top by covering it with gray contact paper and putting it on top of the Kallax shelf unit. She added casters to make the bar mobile. The color change alone made the bar cart modern and fresh. The joint inserts store straws and miscellaneous bar stuff. Annette used the other cubes for storing drinks, sodas, and glassware. On top we have a giant sized wine glass which stores jello shots. There are serving trays, playing cards, napkins, bartender's kit, and the infamous Margaritaville Mixed Drink Maker. We've had this for a few years, but when I looked it up, it doubled in price and is quite expensive. It makes tons of drinks using rum, vodka, tequila, with a combination of orange juice, cranberry juice, and sweet and sour mix. It's a hit at every party, and I highly recommend it. I forgot to mention, most of K-Bar decor came from Ikea. On the walls, we have two 13-inch ECAT cabinets, five BESTA cabinets, two gray doors, two gray wall shelves with white brackets. Under the wet bars, two more BESTA cabinets. The bar countertops are gray 12 laminated wood shelves that were purchased from Home Depot, along with the custom shelving the cooler is sitting on. The lighting strips and puck lights were purchased from Amazon. Annette custom recessed the puck lights into the gray wall shelves by cutting a space for them into the wood so it looks flush. Annette added glass picture frames in the back of the bar cart which she got from Michaels. Since the bar cart is movable, I can access the storage in the cabinet above it where it's stored. There are also wine racks stored underneath the ECAT cabinets. Above the top gray shelf stores ice buckets, wine, and various cocktail glasses. Here's a close-up of our mini bar featuring various liquors on three rows of acrylic shelves. Annette also added color changing light strips which looks awesome at night. On a bar counter we have shot glasses and on the wall we have a four bottle liquor dispenser which stores vodka, rum, tequila and gin. The bar counter also has a red rubber mat, peppermint shot cups, jars with mint, candy, mini wine bottles and ready to drink mixers. The floor wall shelf stores sodas, juices, and beers in one section, the cooler on top, wine and champagne in another, and flavored liquors on a wine rack. Speaking of the cooler, it was a great addition to the bar. You can control the temperature with an app on your phone. It's perfect for road trips and tailgates, but most importantly, it keeps our glass closed for those days we want to be fancy. No need to go to BBQs when we can Texasize it in the crib. Annette loves her pina coladas. This first cabinet displays our tequila section. Between the bar cabinets is the corner wall and Annette used this space to store small snacks, gummies and more mini liquors. The shelves were purchased from Five Below. We have a shot pour carousel next to the cabinet with my rum and vodka liquors. All bottles with stoppers around the bar is different liquors infused with candy. Annette bought a bunch of candy and started experimenting. So we have Jolly Ranchers with rum, Skittles with vodka, and Sour Patch Kids with tequila to name a few. The bottles also add some color to the bar and goes well with the lights. 
This cabinet stores my whiskey bourbon collection, which is my current favorite liquor that I like to drink on occasion. Of course the K-Bar can't be complete without some form of pink, and that did design it by the way, so the wine section is more of her area. On top of the upright freezer stores our ice maker and Margaritaville frozen concoction maker. We've had ours for a few years and this model's not made anymore, but I found some similar ones on Amazon. This machine makes the best restaurant quality smoothies, coladas, daiquiris, and ritas. Inside the floor cabinet stores cups, mixers, flavored liquors, food syrups, juice, ginger beer, fruit strainers, and squeezers. On top of the cabinet, we have movie theater candy and mini containers that host fresh fruit for garnishes. Next to the cabinet is the custom wet bar. We have another smaller cabinet on the end, which stores more juice, ice shavers, salt and sugar containers for glass rimming. With the door closed, only the mixers and flavored liquors are visible. The pump for the wet bar is mounted to the frame of the custom built bar table. The two water jugs collect and pump out water once activated by the glass rinser. The water goes into the mini sink with metal dip tray and we have two mini rubber black bar mats to finish out the countertop. K-Bar is so versatile with the movable bar cart. With the press of a button or should I say two, the bar transforms into my personal sanctuary. One remote controls under counter lighting while the other controls the color changing light strips and puck lights. What more can I say? Annette took her vision and made my bar reality. I would estimate the total cost to build the bar similar to this, not including the drink machines and cooler, is around $500. We paid around $300 to build the K-Bar. Since we shop at Ikea a lot, and our first stop is the as-is section, several items featured in the K-Bar came from there and it saved us a lot of money. For example, the doors are $50 each, we bought them for $7 in the as-is section. I didn't think a bar was possible in that small area of space, but Annette's creativity and the way she arranges things is amazing. What do you guys think? I'll leave all the details for most of the items I can find in the description below. Show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. If you like our content, consider subscribing. As Annette always says in all her endings, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Man, I need to come with a different ending. That don't even sound right coming from me.